Kelsey Fletcher and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of Frenchtown. Frenchtown is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Tallahassee. It is where some of the first freed slaves went to to live and it's one of the, it was a predominantly black neighborhood. So I'm going to be giving you guys a tour. Let's head on now. home to the French settlers who did not move to New Orleans after slavery ended. Um, this land was very undesirable, it was cheap, and it was very low-lying. So the slaves, the freed slaves, thought it was perfect and they moved here and settled. And it was a large black community that is still standing today. Roberts, also known as Anthony Roberts, a lifetime resident of French Town. Frenchtown is the oldest community in Tallahassee that was set aside exclusively for African Americans. The newly freed slaves were allocated a portion of the wet, mosquito, snake infested land when the Civil War ended in 1865. The land was previously owned by the Marquis de Lafayette, a Frenchman who was awarded 23,000 acres by President George Washington for Lafayette's service during the Revolutionary War. The area was first called Frenchtown during Reconstruction when residents of the area opened their bank accounts at the Freedmen's Bureau. The former enslaved people built houses, established businesses, planted crops, opened schools, organized churches, and began to bask in the rays of their newly earned freedom. Many of the more erudite men were elected to governmental office and endeavored to enact laws to make all Americans equal. Professional people moved into the area and brought with them new ideas and skills that enhanced the lives First stop today in Frenchtown is going to be on the Frenchtown Heritage Trail. One of the um, really cool things about this is Alfonso McGee. He was one of the first graduates of Florida a ms law school program. His parents raised him in Frenchtown and he built a legacy. They're one of the only black families that owned a phone, a telephone in their house. And he ended up graduating. All right, on our next stop, we are at the Taylor House. This was home to Aquilina Howell. She was the first African-American superintendent of Leon County Schools, and she played a huge role in um, the desegregation of Tallahassee Schools, and her house still stands today. The Taylor House was originally built in 1921 um, for an elderly home for ex-slaves. From the 1930s to, the 19, to 1948, it was then converted into a daycare for children of workers who worked for the New Deal Aid. In 1948, the building was donated by the Women's Working Group, um, and it was used as a, a Legion post for African Americans returning from World War II. And here we have it today, still standing. In the late 20th century, Frenchtown became a huge business hub. Even the famous pianist and singer Ray Charles lived in this very community. Frenchtown um, has a huge history of folklore, which was bought by the ex-slaves mixed with the settlers. And in this garden, you can just kind of see some of the rituals and just the artifacts that are still here today that just show the history of what the slaves left behind. There's a lot of fountain compared to the other side of Frenchtown. This would be the more gentrified area. We have fountains, newer apartments over here, more park over here. And just to give you an idea of how it has developed over time to become the Frenchtown we know today in Tallahassee. All right, thank you for coming to my um, tour of Frenchtown. As you can see, the history is so rich. The buildings are still intact and the, the ex-slaves, our ancestors, have left their legacy. Mm -hmm.